Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I wanna show you how to create a transparent gradient inside of Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you two ways that I use all the time to do this, a real quick way and one that gives you more control. As usual in the description, I have a link to the latest version of Photoshop as well as my full course on Photoshop for beginner to advanced. Let's jump in. So I just have my image open inside of Photoshop and to create a transparent gradient, the easiest way is by using the gradient tool, which is just this keyboard shortcut G. So make sure you select the gradient tool over here and then go up here and you see this box on top, click this box and I'm gonna bring this over. We want to open up the basics panel and choose this one right here, the one that goes from black to gradient. I'm gonna press okay on that. Now this is gonna go from black to transparent if I click and drag. So I'm gonna click and drag all the way through. And just like that, you have a black to transparent gradient. So I'm gonna show you another one though that you may be looking for. And just make sure on top here that your gradient settings are set to linear if you're trying to get this effect because there are radial and other gradients available. I have it at normal mode, opacity at 100% and I have these two checked on. So if you wanna have the same exact settings, these are mine. But let me go ahead and undo this because what if you wanted to change the color of that gradient? Well, instead of clicking on here, the gradient is picking your foreground color from this box. So if I want, let's say, a blue gradient, I'm gonna choose a blue color here and press OK. And look on top, because I changed this box in the foreground, it changed my gradient color. So now I'll get this kind of effect. And you could do this as subtle as you want. You could do this kind of gradient, maybe just the edges or the top and bottom, right? You could do this kind of an effect as well. Let me go ahead and undo that. And another thing before I show you the second option is I always recommend that you create a new layer on top like this. Just press the plus sign down here and then add your gradient to that because once you do it that way, you could always easily turn it on and off and it's a non-destructive editing technique here so you're not doing it to your original image. So you could always change your mind on that. Let me go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna show you the second way to do this. I'm gonna select my image here and I'm gonna add a mask. That's on the very bottom, add mask. And here is the layer mask that I applied to this image. And I'm gonna press Command I or control I if you're on a PC, and that inverts this option right here. So it turned it from white to black. Now let's go ahead and choose our gradient tool one more time. And look what happens if I drag, nothing happens yet. Okay, because if this is set to black, our foreground color needs to be set to white. So I'm gonna switch these, now I have white. Now if I grab and click, look at what it's doing is taking us from black to transparency. So I could drag multiple times if I just wanna make this a little bit more obvious, right? And I still have transparency on this side. And this is really cool because now I could add a background. Let me go ahead and select this option here. So create a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna choose a solid color here. And let's say we want a darker blue, I'm gonna press okay. And then we'll just drag this underneath our first layer. And there you go. So now you have a very interesting gradient effect that goes from transparency and showing the background behind your subject. Anytime you could select this layer mask as well and you could either keep going and adding more or if I flip these colors, I could actually add transparency this way and this way, right? It's just showing what's underneath like that. So let me go ahead and bring it from the top, the bottom. This is another cool way to create this kind of effect. And because you added a color fill here, you could always double click to change the color and it's gonna change the color behind your subject. And you have any color that you want to choose and then press okay. I'm actually gonna pick the color of this leaf right here and press okay. And that's two common ways to create a transparent gradient inside of Photoshop. And I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for tutorials weekly and I'll see you next time.